This video is sponsored by the MSI Creator Z16P Notebook. More on that in a minute. Thanks for calling Adobe Creative Cloud. How can I help you? What's the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator? What? People use Photoshop for illustration, but isn't that what Illustrator is for? Oh, for I've got a live one online too. Do one of you want to take this? I probably got a meeting. I just crashed. Hold on, hon. I'm going to transfer you to someone. I'm Brad. I review tech for creative professionals. And you can answer my question? One way to find out. Photoshop and Illustrator are both really great illustration programs. There are some key differences. Photoshop was originally designed for editing. Wait for it. Photos. Photos are raster images. I often refer to them as bitmap images. And Illustrator was created for working with vector artwork. The key words to pull out here are the words bitmap and vector. Bitmap images are made up of pixels. If you zoom in on a bitmap image, you will see the individual square pixels that make up that image. Vector objects are made up of shapes. When you zoom in on a vector object, you won't see pixels. You're just gonna get closer and closer to that shape. Photoshop does have some vector tools and Adobe Illustrator does have some pixel tools, but generally, these are different programs. They have different DNA. And while these might not sound like big differences on the surface, they have a huge impact on how you use them as illustration tools. So let's take a look first at Photoshop. If you're coming from a traditional art background, maybe you're just drawing or sketching with a pencil or using markers or brushes, you're used to taking that tool and drawing a line on the page. And when you're used to that, Photoshop is probably going to feel more natural to you because that's what it emulates. If you select the Photoshop brush tool, you can open up the brush palette and it has a whole bunch of brushes that emulate real life drawing tools. Pencils, pens, airbrushes, oil paints, watercolor paints. So let's take a look at a way I might sketch something out traditionally. I might grab a pencil brush and create my sketch. Then I'm gonna take a brush that looks like a crisp ink pen and make some nice line arts. In fact, since it's digital, I'm just gonna do that on a separate layer. Then I'm gonna grab a paintbrush and I'm going to color that in the way I might do with watercolor. So it's not that different than what you might do on paper. Now, Adobe Illustrator has a completely different approach. Yes, it, it does have brush tools, so you can draw a line in a similar fashion. But Adobe Illustrator is really built around the idea of lines and shapes and curves. If you do draw a line in Illustrator, it's called a stroke. What if you draw something and it doesn't quite look right? Well, in Photoshop, you just hit undo and you draw it again. You could do that in Illustrator too, or you can select that line or the points and curves that make up that line and tweak it to get it to look exactly the way you want. That's right, each line is made up of points and made up of curves. And if you close those, you can fill it in with a color, make it a shape. And of course, there's all sorts of tools that help you modify those shapes and those lines and those curves. Before I had a drawing tablet, I did a lot of my artwork in Illustrator because you can use a mouse really effectively in this program. Drawing in Photoshop is going to really require a stylus to get the look that you're going for. Are you writing all this down? No, should I be? Now throughout this video, you might be wondering, what's that laptop I see Brad working on there? This is from today's sponsor, MSI. This is their Creator Z16P notebook, and it's a beauty. It's got a brand new unibody design with CNC aluminum chassis in a lunar gray color with these cool multicolored under the keyboard lights. I love to see a laptop that perfectly balances performance and design. The Creator Z16P is a creative studio. I can create wherever I go with things like Wi-Fi 6E and a large battery capacity. No workplace is off limits. It's cool to see companies like MSI take on the creative market and really understand the needs of creators. And what do creators need? Performance. This thing is stacked with the latest Intel processor up to a core i9. I also have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, which is also fantastic for a lot of the Blender 3D work I've been doing. The Creator Z16P also ensures that I can even render out 8K HDR raw video smoothly and super fast. And the brand new vapor chamber cooling keeps this laptop cool and optimizes performance. And this is a beautiful touchscreen display. It's got a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's also a QHD plus display that gives you crystal clear images and great color accuracy. Check out my link down below in the description to learn where you can buy yours today. Okay.
So who is using these programs again? If you're an illustrator, it depends on how you want to work and the style of artwork you're looking for. I will say this, I think Illustrator for, for new artists does have a steeper learning curve. Just having to think in terms of lines and shapes is very different than just placing a line down on the page. But a lot of logo designers and a lot of icon designers love working in vector because it's so flexible. They can create their graphics once and then scale them up or down to any size they need without losing any fidelity. But at the same time, a lot of illustrators feel like they're just more in the flow when they're working in Photoshop. Hello! Oh, it's Fresco, another Adobe art app. Don't make this more complicated, please. Fresco is only a few years old and it was originally designed for the iPad, but now it works on a lot of Windows computers too. I love Fresco. It pulls a lot of the illustration tools from Photoshop and puts them in this super streamlined, easy to learn app. That is Fresco's biggest advantage, unlike Illustrator. And unlike Photoshop, you're gonna be able to boot open this program and start drawing right away without getting confused. I can't say the same about Photoshop and Illustrator. It reminds me a lot of the app Procreate on the iPad, but this uses Photoshop's actual brush engine, which means any Photoshop brush out there, you can import into this app. They've even made some special fresco brushes that work like wet paint. For example, this watercolor brush is beautiful. It bleeds out and it also can stay wet when you're painting. You can control the amount of water you want your brush to have. There's also some vector brushes thrown in here for good measure too. Okay, so what's the downside? Fresco is also part of the Creative Cloud suite. So it is kind of expensive and there are other apps out there that do pretty much the same thing for a lot less. Even those cool watercolor brushes? That is one of the things that I have not seen any other art app do. If you already have access to Photoshop or Illustrator though, through your Creative Cloud subscription, I think you should definitely give Fresco a shot if it runs on your device. Also, there's a free version out there, but it limits some of the features you have access to, but it might be worth trying if you're curious. Okay, cool. Three apps you can make art with. I think I got it. Well, that's not all. Some people love drawing in Adobe Animate. Technically, it's an animation app. Also comes with the Creative Suite. You could draw on it, but it's not really an art app per se. And that's it. If you're looking to learn more about Adobe Illustrator, check out my beginner's tutorial. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. And if you wanna learn more about the MSI Creator Z16P Notebook, don't forget to check out the links down below in the description. You're not gonna regret it. It's a beautiful laptop that you could spec out to your needs. Thank you, MSI, for sponsoring this video.